Hi, we are going to go through a simple Python command line application. The application handles user creation and user login. I'll start by running the application. So Python 3 and dot py. We are prompted with a message. Welcome to password locker. Select a shortcode to navigate through to create a new user or to log into your account or exit the system. So basically we want to first start by creating the user. So we'll enter the NU shortcode, create username. I'll go to with Shiko. Our password one, two, three, four. Confirm password one, two, three, four. Congratulations, Shiko, account created, creation successful. So this means that we are able to create a um, new user. Then we are asked to proceed to login. So we will enter the username that we used, which is Shiko, and password, which is one, two, three, four. Welcome, Shiko, to your account. Welcome to password locker. So basically, this means I've been able to log in successfully. If we were to try to log in an existent user, uh, we will get an error message. So let's see how it goes. So let's say we want a user like uh slide w um then okay sorry so i entered the wrong command so then it says if at all you didn't choose either from any lg ex then you it to uh, prompt you the message enter a valid code to continue so basically you want to log in an non-existent user so we'll start with the login and then i'll enter the name as slide w also one two three four uh, wrong username or password username test user and password that so this is that my credentials are wrong because there's no such user I can default to using the default user which is test user and with this password Okay, so that's about it now we can go to the code So let me close the terminal and we'll start with the user.py file So in the user.py file we have uh, the user class this class with, will help with the user creation and storage of users or the user data, basically. So these classes in Python, like this one, allow us to logically group data and functions in a way that is easy to use and build upon. So this means we can basically think of classes as blueprints that help us to create new objects. In our case, the objects are the users with the same attributes. So if I talk about attributes, uh, these are things that are sort of characteristics of a uh, object, of a, yeah, of an object. So in our case, the user has the following attributes, the username and the password. So we mentioned functions. So in this case, functions would be called methods. Uh, an example of a function that we have used in our file is the save user function that we use to add or save an instance of the user to our user list. So this save user is what we use to create an instance of our user and save it in the user list. Um, in the user list. So the user list is a Python data structure. Uh, that is used to collect, to store a collection of items. Uh, it's similar to arrays in languages like Java. So basically, when we create the when we create a new user, like we did on when we started the demo, the person is going to be the user is going to be saved in the this data structure called a list, and we're going to use the append method. So if we look at the init and line nine, we have an init uh, method also, and it's called the constructor method that is used to create an instance of the object. For example, we use the user class to create the user slide. The first slide is an instance of the user class. Uh, if we go back to the user list, so basically list being a Python uh, data structure, it has several methods. 
that I used to eat, for example, the append method that you can see here, that is used to save, to, to create, to add the new user to eat, yeah. Um, so that's much about what this file does. Um, so we can go to the run.py. So the run.py is the entry point of our application. So uh, we'll start with the last two lines of the application, which is line, sorry, which is line 78 and 79. So these lines, what they do is they make sure whenever the run.py file is executed, the main function is called. So when you want to run the application, basically we run it on the run.py file in this application that is. Uh, so what happens is that when we have these two lines, it ensures that when it's executed, when it's run, um, this function, which is the main function is um, run. So when we look at the main file, we'll see that it uses the while and if statement to determine what to display to the user. So as you can see, the first thing that we have is a print statement on line eight, um, which uh, is a welcome message. Uh, which makes of the which makes use of the print statement. So this print statement here. So basically, when you run the file, uh, what we first see is this message. So it's we are able to see it because of the print the use of the print statement. Uh, up to, and then we have on line ten. We have the instructions that we are given after obviously seeing the welcome message. Then we have some instructions that you're supposed to follow so that you can like go to the create user login section or yeah, exit section. So basically, this is the instruction. So with the use of the print, also we're able to see that. Then the short code uh, is the instructions. Ha uh, as you can read, we see select a short code to navigate through. So the short code is whatever, when we enter it, this is what allows us to enter the short code, this function, the variable short code, which is an, takes in an input. So we have this, the, this is what allows us to enter like whatever short code you want to choose, either the NU, LG or EX. So if we choose the NU, which is create new user, which allows us to create a new user, Basically, we are prompted with these messages, create username, create password, and confirm password, like we did. If the password, um, the, the passwords are the same, that is, if the create password and confirm password are correct, then we are told uh, we have been able to create an account. Then we are prompted to log in to the account. So proceed to log in where we enter the, we are prompted to enter the username and the password if it's, Correct, then we get a welcome, maybe the name that you entered to your account. So that means it's a success. If it's not, then you're told the, the credentials that you entered were invalid. That is the username or the password. Um, so basically at the beginning, if we entered maybe a different short code, which is maybe for example, LG, then we would have come to the login directory. That is where we enter the username and the password. If it's correct, then it's a login success. If it's wrong, then we're told the credentials are wrong. If we started by entering the EX um, shortcode, then that meant that um, we could just exit from the program. Else, if maybe we entered something that was never in the shortcode traces, either the NULG or EX, then maybe would be, we, would have, we would have been prompted with a um, message and telling us to enter a valid code to continue. So basically that's how the whole um, run.py function runs. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you for listening.